Hey guys, what's up? Uh, my name is Joshua Kirk, and I'm back with you guys once again on YouTube. And I'm finally back with another YouTube video after a long, long break from doing them once again, from doing YouTube videos. In case you're wondering why, it's mostly because for a lot of reasons. Um, one, I got a lot of things on my mind, and two, um, I'm very busy, you know, working on my iTunes and stuff like that, and, uh, three, I'm starting the school year, um, in seventh grade, um, so far that's going pretty well, I'm busy, but, you know, it's pretty much going well, just mentioning the hectic schedule that I've had lately that mostly related to the fact that I couldn't do a whole lot of YouTube videos, but I decided that I wanted to do another one today. Um, I'm not really here to do a review, or, a, I'm not really here to do an album review, or a concert review, or whatever. I know I've went to lots of awesome concerts lately, especially, uh, Jason Isbell and the Foreigner Unit performing at Soundstage in Baltimore. That was great. He was very energetic, and he belted it out on the vocals, and him and his band just rocked it. At the show, so I highly rec I highly recommend you check out Jason Isbell's albums, Southeastern, Sirens of the Ditch, along with his stuff, The Foreigner Unit. Um, if you have, but I strongly recommend you see him in concert because he's just he rocks it. Um, today I'm here to do a bit of a setup tutorial, actually. Um, as you can see, uh. I have a record player set up in uh, my room, uh, like a vinyl player, like a vinyl player set up in my room, which I'm pretty excited about, cause, because, um, it's mostly because I know a lot of you guys are going to be thrilled to see this, a lot of you vinyl freaks are going to be, um, happy to see this, mostly because, um, you know, I know a lot of you vinyl freaks out there say that, uh, vinyl just sounds better than a CD because of the more pure quality, and a lot of you say it's a much more romantic way to experience music, like whether you're cooking dinner or, um, like just relaxing for a little bit, or, or if you're like, you know, throwing a housewarming party or something like that, a little vinyl in the background is a great way to keep, uh, people engaged, so... On top of here is uh, the uh, place where the vinyl spins, and uh, then there's the th needle. I'm um, not really going to turn it on because a lot of those annoying sounds are going to come up. Um, the speed, and you know, you can start, stop, stop, and up, down. And there are two speakers here um, that where you can hear the vinyl. Um, and. Uh, you can put in headphones here, um, in this little hole right here, which I tried that once, and, you know, it's definitely just cool for my ears, because my ears just love good music, especially when it's in HD quality, and not in that, you know, that terrible, um, quality, uh, that just, you know, makes all these annoying bass sounds in the background, um, and then, uh, there's station tuning and, like, a bunch of things here, like AM, FM, CD. But I don't really do those. Besides, I'm really here to listen to vinyl, because I just, I love the quality of vinyl. A lot of people can say, like, you know, you can't go wrong with the vinyl. How can you? Like, if you don't like vinyl, then what's wrong with you? Uh, selective tone and loudness. I definitely control my loudness, because it's going to sound distorted and unpleasant and, you know, just too loud otherwise. Then this is the volume thing. I'm very careful with that. Bass, treble, stimulated stereo, and balance. And in case you're wondering where I got this record player set up here, I got it at a record shop in uh, Annapolis, Maryland, called Kachunk Records, that has... Lots of cool vinyls, and, you know, they had stuff for vinyl records set up, so, and my dad, my dad and I just wanted to set up 
a vinyl player in my room since we since I felt like I needed um an actual record player to play my limited vinyl vinyl collection here um so I'm pretty fond pretty thrilled to have it and what I'm also doing in the video I I am going to review a vinyl here it's of Dr. Dog's Wild Race EP um this one came out on uh October 2nd 2012 and it basically has five songs that are previously unreleased from the sessions for the fantastic record they put out earlier last year, Be the Void. Um, the front here has a panda bear on it. It's pretty cool. It has the words Wild Race on it. And at the bottom it says Dr. Dog Yee Pete 2012. <coughs> Excuse me. It kind of reminds me of what they did on the Takers and Leavers EP, except they put 2006 on there. Here's uh, the spine, <coughs> and uh, here's the back. Um, tracks on here are Be the Void, The Sun, What a Fool, um, Exit for Sale, and the title track Wild Race. Uh, so interesting, they have a track Be the Void, because they they had an album with that name, but <coughs> never released the title track until now. And then there's credits at the bottom, mostly for songwriting and uh, recording, production, and everything. Nothing too major, not a whole lot of bells and whistles in there. Um, but I'm going to show you the vinyl inside of here. I'm trying to be careful because vinyls definitely do resist scratching. Here's uh, the artwork on there. Um, Nothing too major. Um, and on the back here, it looks like, uh, uh, let me just get it a closer place so you can see it better. It's uh, got uh, the same photo of the band that um, was on the Be the Void record itself. Um, like, uh, of the guys, you know, sitting there, like, on a porch or something. Um, looks like a little hologram of the guys, which is really cool. Um, and, you know, that's the record itself. Sorry it ripped a little there, but, oh well, at least the vinyl's fine. Like, no scratches, because, you know, it would be bad if there, if there was a scratch there. Because I adore this EP, I must say. Now, I don't think I enjoyed this EP as much as the Be the Void record, but it's still a great EP. Be the Void is catchy. It's got a great hook to it um, of, you know, you know, uh, become nothing, be the void. Like, just that simple little phrase just gets stuck in my head for a while. Uh, the Sun is pretty good, too. Um, what a Fool's a pretty cool song. It's definitely a lot different from something from some of the stuff from Be the Void. Like, that song, uh, it has, I think it has an actual drum set, but it really mostly has an electronic drum loop, which is different for the band, yet it works for the song. Um, and then there's Exit for Sale, which is Probably the best song on the album, in my opinion. Um, I think the track um, has lots of cool instrumentation. There's this really psychedelic string synthesizer in the background, and um, you know, it's uh, it's definitely a lot different. Yet, it's definitely a cool song. And "What a Fool" and uh, "Exit for Sale" are actually two tracks that were bonus tracks for the iTunes version of "Be the Void." Um, like, they're on the deluxe edition along with the song Control Yourself, which the band released as a 7-inch with Warrior Man, one of the songs on the record on the B-side. Um, and the title track, Wild Race, definitely does round, round up the album in, you know, a great closing time. Um, lots of, you know, psychedelic uh, effects coming from Dimitri Manos on this song. Um... And, you know, some little 
some little nice sparklings of piano in the background, too. Um, and I must say, Eric Slick's drumming on this EP, like on every track, is just top-notch, in my opinion. Um, it was on Be The Void, and it is on this EP, and hopefully it'll be the same way on B Room. I heard the live stream, I listened to the live stream session that the guys had, and, you know, I heard if some, of course I heard The Truth and Broken Heart, which I heard online, great songs, um, Distant Light, which at first I just heard live versions, is mostly crowd noise, devouring the sound. Um, I first heard it at Expan Exponential Festival, and it was great, I dug it, but, you know, First few times I heard it, uh, the audience was pretty much eating it up with their noise. Um, up with their noise. So I think it was great to have a good quality version on live stream, acoustic version. Also heard two other songs, Cuckoo, which is a really cool song, um, and Two Week to Ramble, which is a more soulful track than some of their earlier stuff, but it's a really beautiful song in my opinion. Um... Now, you could say this review either is a little short or thrown together or something, but this but this is an EP, and, you know, an EP review doesn't really take a whole lot of words. Mostly just, you know, short review, just me commenting on the album, saying I like it. And so I have to give Wild Race maybe a 7 or 8 out of 10. Um, sort of a... Uh, feeling a 4 out of 5, rather than the 5 out of 5 on this thing, because there are some great tracks, but, you know, EPs really don't have as high of a rating as full albums do. But, I enjoyed this EP. So, you know, I'm gonna keep listening to it over and over again, that's for sure, because nice hooks, great harmonies, and pretty much everything you expect on a Dr. Dog album is on here. So, that's... So that's it for my vinyl setup and my review of Dr. Dog's Wild Ray CP on vinyl. And I should do another album of the day soon. Like, hopefully. But anyways, so that's going to wrap it up for this video. See you guys in the next one. Bye, everybody.